Um, this could just be another diversion uh, by Russian propaganda, and we're all involved in the information warfare. So one aim of this would be actually uh, dividing the allies and um, sowing this distrust uh, amongst European allies, especially if they would consider that the United States is holding negotiations behind Ukraine's and behind their backs. Uh, whereas we got reiteration many, many times before by all leaders reassuring Ukraine and all the allies uh, that there are no talks about Ukraine without Ukraine. Um, so I think we are going to believe that narrative. And uh, frankly, the conversations about reaching any kind of ceasefire by Putin can only be used by them now ahead of the elections to reinforce their positions internally. Right. Uh, also, what is your assessment of the situation on the ground as far as uh, the Russia-Ukraine war is concerned? Where do you think uh, things are really headed and where they stand at this point? Uh, Ukraine is gearing up towards 2024, uh, definitely preparing for spring uh, and the new counteroffensive. Uh, now, there are many talks of, of how this war is going to go in, in this new year. I don't think any experts could tell you for sure, uh, given the pending confirmation of finances going towards Ukraine. We know of the package um, at the EU and another finance package by the United States that is yet to get approved by the US Congress. And everything really will depend on that financial aid to Ukraine. If we get more weapons, if funding for more shells, uh, that Ukraine desperately needs right now, uh, then for sure Ukraine will be well on its way to retake some of its territory or at least dig deep uh, for deep defense. Uh, and the best defense uh, for Ukraine in 2024 will be the offense. Um, but at the same time, we have to note that Ukraine has made great progress um, in the naval sphere. Uh, we have pushed back Black Sea Fleet uh, out of the Black Sea. There is now very effective and efficient transportation of grains out of Ukraine towards Africa and all the countries who are actually relying on us not to starve. Um, the ground counteroffensive could be a little bit more difficult, but Ukraine is gearing up towards public private partnerships and, and licensing of Western artillery. Um, so, with that and with the incoming uh, fighter jets of the fourth and potentially fifth generation F 16s and, and the likes, um, Ukraine has really strong chances in 2024 to actually retake more than it is expected now. Aliona, thanks very much for being here on the broadcast and sharing those perspectives. Thank you.